first, this is one of my favorite comedians. Cara Buller, everyone. Yeah. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Jesse. Great mic. This is a good mic. Yeah. This, is a, this is amazing. Yes, yes. Um, so uh, about me, I am I'm a proud feminist. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, but it's, you know, you gotta make a lot of decisions, you know, tough decisions, like uh, like like down here. How are you gonna keep it, right? Um, right, because I wanna, I wanna go all natural, right? You know, just as God and, uh, God and feminist in, intended, you know? Yeah, And uh, but I know how the guys like it. They like it all gone, right? Uh, right? So what I've done, I've struck a compromise. What I do, I just shave it right down the middle. <laughs> Leave it long on the sides. <laughs> I, I call it the Danny DeVito. <laughs> Everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. Um, yeah, I, I, um, I watch a lot of comedy specials, and uh, the comedians are always, the male comedians are always going to these different cities and, and say, great city, um, beautiful women. You have the most beautiful women. You know, and then everybody applauds. And, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. I want to be a feminist comedian who goes around to different cities and you know records my specials and just like great to be here, great city, hugest cocks, <laughs> fantastic, co just giant cocks here. <laughs> it's great that everybody applauds. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the world I want to live in. Damn it. Okay. Um, hmm. What else? Oh God, I had a rough childhood. Of course. Yeah. And, um, yeah, uh, kids were so mean to me. Like when I was 13, this one boy came up to me and he said, y you know, I would fuck you uh, if I could put a bag over your head. Oh. Yeah. I was like, well, paper or plastic, be specific. <laughs> tell, tell me what you need. If you need to tell me, you know. <sighs> much pain under that joke, right? But you gotta get the joke out. You gotta find the punchline. You gotta find the punchline. Um, oh God, um, it's, it is, you know, a lot of us comedians suffer from like depression, anxiety, like really dark thoughts. And you know, I, I, I'm there and, um, or I've been there, you know, don't, nobody needs to worry um, right now. Okay, um, a, a friend of mine, she actually, a comedian friend of mine, she killed herself last year. It was devastating. I was so upset, you know? Like, why, why didn't she call me? You know? We could have done it together. <laughs> you know, think of others. Think of others. Don't be so selfish. Reach out. Collaborate. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's a creative process. Okay. Oh, what else do I want to say about so, uh, Yeah, I, um, oh God, I was at this day job, this horrible day job, and I, I was just, like, feeling so at a day job, you know, it was horrible. I was very much at a day job. There was no denying it. I wanted to die. I was so frustrated. I was like, I, 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 wanted to get, I just wanted to get up to the George Washington Bridge. You know, I was like, I have to end it all. Oh, let's get up to the George Washington Bridge, you know. But the traffic, unbelievable. I mean, the traffic up to that Brit, there needs to be a suicide lane. I mean, there needs to be, a, we're a benevolent country, get that suicide lane. I'm sorry. What, we're heathens. All right, um, I, I'm from the Midwest. I have a proud father from, from Kansas, thank you. And um, he called me recently, very upset. He had read something in the paper. They said that somebody showed up in court wearing a very Midwestern suit. And my father was like, well, what is this? What are they talking about, Car? What, what, what's a Midwestern suit? And I said, uh, Dad, well, I believe a Midwestern suit, it, that's a suit with a secret pocket stitched into it in which you place your unspoken racial prejudices. <laughs> uh, that's, yes. All right, that's probably my time. You guys have been great. Carl, Buller, everyone. Carl, have you been to, uh, have you been to Lake?